problem is, is my body's not adapting to undoing this mutation. What is up everyone, it's Russo. I hope everyone is doing well. Today's ASMR sip is 19SLWR.com, keep on code Russo. ASMR spritz, intelligent elephant, H2O, hear your spritz noises. Gotta buy it to smell it though. All other links, discounts, codes to support my unbiased shadow ban content in the pinned comment down below. Today, I am going to be featuring a random peptide I'm about to try for my post finash dried post lines main post SSSSSSRI sexual dysfunction post Accutane syndrome the other deca dick you know this is all like the same syndrome and if you guys have been following along on my Instagram at Russo lifts in here I'm stuck at the final point of dealing with a mutation around allopregnanolone and my neurosteroid cascades in my central nervous system. I have already fixed the androgen receptor overexpression with sodium valparate and dihydrobolinone. Now my nervous system is having such trouble adapting, right? I can't walk towards the end of the night. Um, I slept a full eight hours, really good sleep, and I woke up fatigued. My CNS is fatigued because I was dreaming, and now it's like my legs have shrunk again, and it's just this yo-yo battle where I could have a seizure essentially because there's not enough allopregnanolone to offset the dopamine from the amount of AR I have in my body. This has led me towards trying PEA, which I'll have Andrew throw up the discount to PEA in the description below, which gives me a conversion to allopragnanolone instantly. And every time I take it, I feel instantly better. Problem is, is my body's not adapting to undoing this mutation. Now, I did not come up with this idea for this peptide. I want to give the actual biohacker credit, which is Alex Kekel. So go check out Alex Kekel's Instagram. He has a full write up on Leviagen and go check him out on the prepcoach.com. He is the only guy, in my opinion, out of all the biohackers that weighed in that fully understands this. And he, he's not the only one taking thousands of dollars to heal people, but he's the only one that I read after suffering through this. And I'm like, oh, he actually understands. Wow. So I do want to give Alex credit. And by all means, I would have never looked into this peptide. Believe it or not, I actually did read into this peptide, but I don't think I ever would have taken it. And that is Leviagen. So I just ordered 10 vials of Leviagen, which is a DNA decondensing reorganization of chromatin peptide. Essentially, it's been researched into reactivating silenced genes in elderly patients and overall just decondensing the chromatin and basically redoing your DNA if you had silenced shit is apparently what it does. Do they know what it does all together? No, but this is probably what I need. I feel like this is the final step for the full cure because the PA is not working, right? I have spent thousands of dollars on PEA to offset who knows how many seizures at this point. You know, my girlfriend like has to check in on me all the time just to make sure I'm not seizing up if I'm not in the same room, right? And I carry around bottles of PEA. I'm going on what, seven, eight months of suffering through this shit. So if this peptide can just redo my DNA to a point where the silence conversion to allopregnanolone is undone systematically, then I'm fully back. I'm fully recovered. I can train normally again. My CNS will auto adapt how it's supposed to auto adapt. And I will not be fighting this uphill battle with allopregnanolone. That is my last experiment. I also bought one other bioregulator and I will name that one in my full recovery video. Everyone's asking for the full recovery video. I'm still trying to fully recover, right? I'm like at 99%, but until I figure out this last step, I could crash, right? I could crash. If I worked my ass off and then trained how I normally would train train and didn't take any PEA, I'd have so much neuroinflammation from all the dopamine and all the allopregnanolone not being there to offset it that I would seize up and my body would open its RNA back up and castrate my AR until it met 
the allopregnanolone point that I'm making. So I could crash back down again. Do I know how to offset it with PA? Yeah. Do I want to live the rest of my life spending thousands of dollars on this supplement? No. So I'm really looking forward to trying out the Leviagen peptide. I want to just extend this out to everyone suffering that theoretically if you were at the worst of this disease and you did sodium valparate plus dhb and then as you're coming off the valparate you keep the dhb in there you add in pea and then maybe this leviagen is the full method track to a cure there's going to be no real fucking cure for a long time with specific rna drugs right i've already bitched about this is like the charity that you know I guess shadows me and silences me as I heal myself is looking into forming a specific rat model when in my opinion it seems like the tools are already there and Alex is awesome for showcasing all that for free i'm gonna link his article right up down below of someone he's cured with a leviagen peptide and i personally believe it because he's wrote because he's written three four other recoveries on his instagram and it goes directly into all the symptoms i had directly into what i thought it was and he showcases how he got people out of it. So if you guys are suffering from post-Accutane, post-SSSRI, post lines main, post finasteride dutasteride, I recommend sodium valparate plus dihydrobolinon. Squash the androgen receptors back to normal, right? The valparate opens up your genes and then the DHB moves your AR back to normal, masculinizes you again. You get off the valparate, you close your genes back up, you keep the DHB in there. You then add in PEA and start building up a storage of allopragnanolone as you fight off the seizures. And then maybe this Leviagen peptide is that cherry on top. But this is what I'm currently dealing with in my recovery. I will see you guys in my next video.